Get motivated with Mr. Smiles, Vinny Chopra. He is also known as Mr. Enthusiasm. He will share and challenge you each week on great topics, on how to get excited, how to really make things happen in your business, and change your life for the better. Here is Vinny with this week's Motivation Inspiration. Hi guys, welcome to your weekly Motivation Power Talk with Mr. Smiles. Today is an interesting subject. I, I think that's something that it is something that everybody should always be practicing on a continuous basis. And I'm sure Vinny will agree with me. Hi, Vinny. How are you doing today? Hi. How are you, Alicia? Good morning. Early morning here. Yeah. Good morning here, too. It's just a little bit later. But um, today, I want to talk about practicing forgiveness because I think it is so important because sometimes people live in the past. They can't get out of it. And you know, forgiveness is, it, it's, it's, a, it's mandatory in your life. So true. So very true, Alicia. That is so, you're right. You know, I mean, what's forgiveness? You know, forgiveness as is, it's a con- conscious decision, deliberate decision, conscious and deliberate decision to release the feelings of resentment and vengeance towards a person or a group who has harmed you. Wow, wow. So essentially, you know, when people are doing things to other people or they're doing to us Mm -hmm. and it's harmful nature, our subconscious mind and our conscious mind goes into to in a state to take revenge Mm -hmm. and to be harmful to them. Yes. Right, and yes. figure out a way. Uh, or exactly, in my mind, ways. just like that. Exactly, you know. I know somebody who's just like that, and they don't want revenge on the world. So true, so true, and you know, and and rightly so. To be truthful, I mean, you know, we are humans, right? So when somebody does pretty bad to us, we always our previous experience tells us, "Hey, defend, defend yourself." And why did they say that to you? And why are they hurting you kind of way, right? You know? Mm-hmm. And then, or fly kind of thing. You got it. You got it, you know? And then you say, okay, let me put them straight. <laughs> let me make sure that, you know, I do everything possible to give them as much agony, as much hurt, as much loss to their emotion <laughs> or loss whatever ways, right, you know, to hurt them. Mm -hmm. So in that state of mind, if we tell ourselves, forgive, let's make peace. Let's, you know, I think it's the word which comes to my mind is, let's live harmoniously, you know, in peace and happiness. How could we get to that state? I think that's what we're going to talk about. That's actually what I was just going to ask you, because sometimes people are so angry about, you know, what's happened to them or what somebody did to them that they can't, they're, they got blinders on. They're like the horses at the track. Right. And so their only focus is to hurt this person or hurt people around them. Yeah. So what do you say to people like that? How to get out of that mindset of, you know, instead of the poor me or I deserve this to, you know what? It is what it is. I can't do anything about it now. Yeah. So I'm going to move on. Forgive or forget. I guess forgive or forget might actually be a good title for this podcast. Yes. yes. Um, <laughs> you know, forget that situation and move on. How would you approach that? How would you deal with that type of person? You know, it's hard. It's really hard. I mean, let's be frank about it. Because, mm-hmm. you know, when somebody hurts, uh, all those penetrate us, right, into the deepest of us. And we try to say why they did it to us, <clears throat> what made them do, yeah. how long they've been thinking about hurting us, <laughs> you know. And, and how long did they hurt us for? Yeah, right, exactly. How long did we put up with it? That's we love it, obviously. Huge. That's so huge what you're just talking about. You know, I mean, let's let's talk sense. You know, I mean, in, in USA, yeah. we have 50% divorce rate, right? Yeah. You know, and many times it's culmination of so many hurtful situations mm-hmm. that 
you know, either party, right, mm -hmm. is not able to take it, right? And then we say, I cannot forgive. I cannot yeah. forgive my life mate. We were, you know, trying to put it together and we were, you know, trying to forgive each other. Let's just say that. Mm -hmm. But we cannot do it. It just is not possible. Like you can right? forgive and not forget sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I think, you know, by taking responsibility on how you choose to respond, you know, to mm -hmm. anyone uh, by aligning ourselves with life. Okay, let's talk about it now. So in other words, I think forgiveness comes when you make a decision yourself, right? Mm -hmm. That hey, I'm going to analyze the situation and maybe I will never ever blame myself for it. Mm -hmm. But even if I blame the other person, they may not accept it. Hold on. Or they may yeah. not care. They may not care. Totally, mm -hmm. totally, you know. And that is the big thing. As I was researching on this topic, I've been doing some of my notes nowadays. I know, know, I know. Normally I'm always, you know, coming at you with, with random ones. <laughs> you I know, like I was just kind of, this, those. I heard that and I read it, be kind instead of being right. Hold on. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, that just the notion of practicing that will bring forgiveness because we can be totally right, but then we will be devastated in our psychological, you know, thinking and yeah. uh, how we perceive and what negatives stay with us and things like that. Be kind instead of right. There is a Chinese proverb, by the way, if you are going to pursue revenge, you would better dig two graves. Hold on. You uh, better dig two I graves. I think there's a country song about this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there is. <laughs> Which is saying to me, your resentments will destroy you. Hold yeah. on. So not only your res resentment towards somebody else, you know, it's going to destroy them and put them in a grave, so as to speak, but get a grave for yourself too because mm -hmm. your resentment is going to stay with you for so long. It's going to be cutting you down more and more and more and more rather than building you up, you know. And the world is just this way. The people who are behaving badly in the world are doing what they are supposed to be doing. <laughs> oh, wow. But, and, and some people, like, they get on, I don't know, I, I obviously, I think it comes from how they're raised, but they start on this evil type of mentality and being a crappy person in general, and yeah. they just continue with it. Yes. Like I, my grandpa, he taught me how to break horses um, and uh, race horses, barrel horses, you name it. Mm -hmm. But he was the meanest man on earth. <laughs> I loved him with all my heart and he taught me many things, but he just as a child, he, he's a from an Italian family. So he was just raised that, you know, what, you don't cry, you buck up buttercup. I don't want to hear it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Get yeah. it done, which obviously uh, made me the person I am today uh, being tough and, you know, being an individual. And I teach my daughter the same things, but I'm not mean about it. <laughs> See, that's the thing. What you just said is so right, Alicia, because I think when we forgive, Mm -hmm. other people, I think we grow ourselves. Yeah, I learned things from that. I Isn't learned. it true? Right. And I learned. I, I learned, like, with my daughter, I don't baby her. I say, you know what? If you're not bleeding, no Band-Aid. Okay, we're not know. putting Band-Aids on for every little scratch that you get. You're going to have to buck up. You have homework. You will clean your room. You will do what you're told. I don't want to yes. hear it. I'm yes. pretty strict. I, he did raise me to be a very strict mother. So, uh, um, because he was always strict on me. I mean, I, I totally. woke up at five o'clock in the morning, went down, fed horses, did 22 box stalls, 15 sand stalls, saddled 20 horses, took out 10 hours of rides, oh and still rode four race horses, uh, two miles each. Wow. So, wow. I, and I wasn't allowed to do anything. So I really believe, and I forget, I mean, I, I loved the horses. So, 
but I forgave him, you know what I mean? And I learned from him. <clears throat> so I think the, the forgiveness, you can always, you, you can learn from forgiving too. I think that's really, really important. This is a perfect example. It, it is so giving. true. So very true what you're saying, who you are. And I think I can look back in my life also when I forgave because of whatever reason, you know, it made me stronger. It made yeah. me better, I think. And people grow by forgiving other people, you yeah. know. You know, even if they don't, even if they don't know it, yes. you forgave them, even if they don't appreciate it, if you tell yes. them. yes. But you can definitely grow from forgiving others. And I'm a perfect example. Of that. Yeah. Um, and I know you are too. And there's many yeah. other really good examples that people actually sat down and thought about it. Yes. You know? totally. Anybody listening to us, you know, I mean, if they can introspectively look into their life, the moment they forgave somebody, it made them inch higher. Maybe it made them feel so good at that moment. Hopefully, you know, I mean, many times we forgive and we don't say that I'm to be blamed for it. Not that, no. you know, we forgive because it's in the situation that we are in. Yeah. There is no win-win situation, right? Many times when we have blaming and vengeance, right? And somebody has really hurt us emotionally. See, uh -huh. emotional hurt is the worst hurt. That's the right? worst. That's, That's the worst. Like the worst. I can right. get over broken bones and I can get over the physical aspect. Yes. Like I, I, I'm going to bring it right back to the same story. Sure. One time I had a, I was taking my, we have livery rides. So people pay to ride the horses. So they went on trail I was, there was no horses left in the, in the barn. So I jumped on a racehorse yeah. and I was wearing cowboy boots and race saddles, uh, the, the stirrups are metal. Uh -huh. And so I took a shortcut down a ravine. Horse went down, my foot slid through the stirrup, I broke my ankle. Oh, wow. My grandpa brought me to the hospital. They're like, it's a six hour waiting list for a cast. He's like, well, she doesn't need her ankle to ride. She needs her legs. Wow. So we'll come back. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I went out and finished my day and they just put me up on, cause I didn't, I, you don't know, use, you, you ride with your thighs, you know, but for people that ride, but that's like a perfect example. Like, and I was angry with them because now Jeez. that I'm old, I feel it because yeah. I never actually got it fixed correctly. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's, but you know, I forgive him because he gave me so much strength and so much, yeah, I'm not easy to put down. You know, I'm I'm a fighter for sure. sure. He made me that way as it much as he was. It makes like, us you know what? You know, and the good part is also let's just talk about something else too. In the sense that you know, a lot of people are hurtful by nature. Yeah, there are a lot of people unknowingly hurt you. Hold on, what does that mean? By speaking. We talk so much by insulting or by saying some things that we shouldn't have said. And we repent. Are we too honest? Hold on. They said that to somebody, but now they can't take it back. So then there is a struggle. There is a struggle, power struggle. Can I just call that person and take back my bad words? <laughs> right. I know. I you know. know. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't. You can't. Once it's out there, it's out there. The only thing you can do is ask for forgiveness and forgiveness. Uh, try to fix the situation if you can. You got it. You got it. So true. And now let's look at on the other side who got that hurt, right? Yeah. Because of what somebody did or uh, spoke or things like that. Now there is a battle between the two. There's a battle, yeah. you know? And the thing is, as a forgiver, we need to look at the total picture. Yes. And maybe give the whole picture a good thinking and listening and watching, analyzing. That person is good person, but he hurt me or she hurt me in this particular moment. Maybe she was going through something else. Hold on. Now we are talking about thinking as a whole person, as ourselves and looking in the other person's background or the situation, why they said what they did, what they are doing right now, what's going through their life yes. that they are becoming mean 
to others. Oh, wow. Now, that's very, very powerful thing. Because if we can understand somebody else and put ourselves in their shoes, mm -hmm. then for psychologically, we might be at peace yeah. to give them the forgive forgiveness you know yeah no and i i completely completely agree with it because i before um i was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis which was recently which is yes. now I'm finally making it public so yeah. <laughs> um i never like i would look at people who are like in the grocery stores and i just never thought about what i mean people don't know i get after after the show i have to go give myself a shot yeah. like I don't know that they have, you know, breathing tubes and machines on them, or they may be going through cancer or they're, or they're going through a divorce and they're a single right. mom or they're doing something. Yes. Like I never, I honestly am ashamed of myself because before I got sick, I yeah. never really thought about why people were being crappy people. Like, you know, they may go off on me or, you know, flick me off or, or conk the horn at me because or whatever or just make mean. And I never actually thought about, wait a minute, you have no idea what they're going through. Yes. No idea. So true. So, so before you start pushing out the, the, the crap and, and hurting people think about, you have no idea what they're going through. And you know, you don't go through the store or wherever and going, hi, by the way, I'm sick or I'm this yeah. or I'm that, or I'm going through divorce. You know what I mean? So, so I think what you what you you're what you're pointing out is is that you never know what other people are going through. So before you throw out that hurt and that pain, think twice and always if you're on the other side of it, forgive because they may be going through the same thing. They may have had, you know what I mean? It comes on both sides. It they may be, be acting mean because they're having a bad situation in their life. And they, you know, the, the other person that's getting hurt may not be able to forgive because they're going through a bad situation in their life. So, so true, Alicia. What you just said is universal. So true. What we are covering, I think it will hit the chord with so many people who are listening or watching us because if we can understand others and if we can just take a little bit time to understand what they are going through the people who are hurting you what they are going through and maybe come with some kind of you know understanding and uh, forgiveness is the word we are talking yes. about today and i just thought about something came to you thanks for sharing that i really respect you for yeah. that the big thing is I was listening or watching one of the Stephen Covey's book where he was okay. traveling in the airplane and, you know, he was in the, you know, sitting and there were three or four kids. They were really rowdy and so forth. And he was feeling so, you know, angry and, yeah, and you're like dad was sitting <laughs> right then. He could not do anything. And he was just kind of thinking, you know, why dad is so depressed and so forth. And he's not talking to his children. And he just started talking to that dad. And the dad said, you know, I'm so sorry. My kids just lost their mom. Oh, see, you see, never know. And see, my first reaction when you were starting the story was bad parenting. Okay, that was my first response before you finished it. Yeah. But, like, and that totally stays to our point. You never know what somebody's going through. Going through. You have no idea. No idea. What's so, you've got to give it on both sides. And, Vinny, you know, I like to end every one of our shows with, you know, a, a nug of advice. I think that this is a, this is a great show for anybody. It's going to be great for the holidays. This is probably <laughs> one of the first ones I'm going to put up because I think that in the holiday season, there's a lot of people who are, um, you know, they're without their family, friends, loved ones have lost yes. somebody. I just had a friend lose her grandmother um, last week. So yeah. it's going to be the first Christmas and, you know, holiday season without her grandmother. So, you know, that's going to be hard for her. So um, I guess what, what I would like to know is um, for your piece of advice is what, what do you tell people out there that are just, you know, they're, they're struggling and, um, I, you know, forgiveness to God, forgiveness to anybody or anything about 
you know, what they're going through. What, what would you tell them to do? Is there any references, any books, any, anything besides our podcast? You know, that's a very good point, what you're saying. You know, I would highly, highly recommend anybody who's going through this hurtful, you know, ness and that you cannot forgive. Please, please look into the subject. Uh, YouTube is amazing. If you could just say the search, how to be forgiving, just like that, you will get some good, smart, short clips right there. Yeah. Or you could even just Google the word, how to be forgiving or how can I deal with it? The biggest thing I understand is that, you know, please uh, look into focus of not blaming others, yes. but to understanding where they are at and understanding yourself. I think that's the other thing. See, sometimes we are hurtful and yes. that's why people hurt us back too. So we need to be really focused on not blaming others and avoid telling people what to do, <laughs> you know. And I have just, such a hard time with that. It, it is so true. <laughs> all of us, all of us want to change other people, thinking in their lives, uh, you know, and learn to let go and be like water. Sometimes I believe water, you put them in any part, anywhere, it just levels it up. So if we can live our life also like water, you know, not the ups and downs, but as best, as best we can level our self thinking and our attitude and our behaviors, I think we'll be really, really, you know, big, big in that. And then taking responsibility for what part we are Our, playing. Yes. I was going to, I just actually wrote that down. I don't know, right here, because we're going to do another podcast about accountability. Yes. Accountability. Because I think that that's, I think that's, I think that's a huge subject and Taking accountability for your own actions. Yes, that's yes, definitely yes. Key. But, you know, but I loved all of your advice about oh, forgiveness. Thank you. And, you know, like when we clap, we can never clap with one hand. See, remember yeah. that always. So there is always action and reaction. Yes. There is always when we clap, there are two things that are colliding together to make that noise. So I think the biggest thing is to just be let go of the resentment, if I may say that. Yes. You know, many times that resentment, resentment really kills us. It, it really does. decays I, us. It does. I've other seen word. it do it I'm to a, a close family member of mine who is so resentful, yes. can't get over a situation, lives in the past all the time, yes. and doesn't know how to move forward. So and sorry. it made her sick, you know, wow. so I feel bad for her. But yeah. there, you you do, you have to let go of the resentment. In order you to really do. You really do. And we'll be feeling better. We'll grow with the situations. We'll f see our health is getting better. Everything. So I hope, I'm really glad you brought this word today, forgiveness. And I think with the, we need to forgive everybody. I just don't, I mean, even if somebody has done in our real estate business, you know, yeah. uh, I've forgiven a lot of people lately because they were stealing, they were doing this or that. I mean, we could have put them behind bars, you know, but I think the biggest thing is to just say, let's just let it go. I mean, you know, uh, that's how I feel, you know, to yeah. be, let's not worry about small things in life, you know, and help everybody and, you know, give forgiveness. <laughs> yeah, no, and I, and I agree too. I kind of say it is what it is. You can't change it. You can't do yeah. anything about it. What are you going to do going forward? Yes. You know, yes. that's how I try to live my life. I'm not completely, you know, a master. Good of good. <laughs> I'll let you know and write you a book. <laughs> but actually, that, that that's actually brings up your new book that's coming out. Congratulations. Well, thank As you. Positivity Brings Profitability, which is going to be a great project. Yes. And I know we're almost done with it. So mm -hmm. I'm excited for that to come out. Thank you. Um, Vinny, thank you so much for your time today. Uh -huh. Guys, if you guys have any comments, any questions, any subjects, we're not shy, obviously. So <laughs> not, we, not we, don't, we don't mind bringing up the, the nitty gritty and the tough things to talk about. Yes. So if you have any questions, have any comments, please, you know, leave them in the show notes on YouTube or tune in iTunes, wherever, especially YouTube. And if you get us on YouTube, please share, comment, like, 
and check that button and come check in with us every week because we always have really good content. And as you can see, I'm a very honest and blunt person and I always get the goods from Mr. Smiles. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you for this morning and God bless you. Of and course. let everybody yeah. forgive some people today. Yes. Find one thing you can forgive. You can forgive one thing today. That's right. One thing, just one thing. Does it? I mean, yes. you don't even have to be over it today, but just make the effort to forgive one person or one situation so you can move forward and yes. live a more positive life. All right, guys, that's it for your motivation power talk <laughs> with Mr. Smiles. Until next time. Bye bye. See you next week. You will be amazed at the insights Vinny will share each week. He will share his experiences. He has taken $7 to over $220 million portfolio in commercial real estate. To reach Mr. Smiles, text the word syndication to 474747 or go to his website, vinnychopra.com.